What's up guys, it's Michael Stewart here with a quick tutorial on how to use Asana to manage leads. So if you're generating a lot of leads for your business, let's say you have an opt-in page that captures people's contact number, email addresses, name, and any other relevant information, you may end up with a lot of leads to reach out to maybe via phone call, via WhatsApp, via messenger, via email, and you will need a structured way of putting these leads into different sections so that you know how to treat them as, they're, as they move through the sales funnel. So how we do that, we do that by using projects in Asana. So to create a new project, we hit this plus icon, then blank project. So let's call this lead management. And it's a very simple process. So create project. So of course, every industry and every business is unique. So you may have different stages through your sales process or, or, or sales funnel that's, really, that's applicable to your particular um, business. So in our case, we serve a lot of brides and we try to keep our process as simple as possible. So we typically start by having a lead pool and I'm using section, so add section, then lead pool. So this section will store all the leads that we have generated. I, we use MailChimp to capture details, so we'd um, client leads details. So we'd copy, copy these, this information into this section. Then we would want to add another section for contact these today. So this section will store the leads that we're currently focusing on today, the ones that we are reaching out to today. So we may discover that they're interested, not interested, and a new section, wrong number. We may need to do follow-ups with the leads, follow up these and lastly we may discover that these leads are already customers so we may choose to upsell or cross sell them different things so basically as you can see it's just a way of classifying leads so let's use a, a, an example so let's say in the leads pool section we have four leads lead one lead two, lead three, lead four. Typically you'll have over 50, over, over, over a thousand leads, over 500 leads. In our case, we have between 400 to 700 leads in this section. So we may choose, of course, you can't call that many leads within a day, at least it's not typical to call so many leads within a day. So you may choose to focus on a few of them at a time. So that's why we have the contact these section, contact these section to folk that will store the ones that we will be focusing on. So if you click lead one and you'll see that they're in the lead management project that we created and they're currently in this section in the lead pool. So we can click it and move them to move lead one to contact these today. And we may do the same for lead two, contact these today. So as you can see, it both of them has been have been moved from the lead pool section to the contact these today section. So let's say we call lead one. You can click lead one and in the description section, you can use it as a sort of note taking section as you speak to the client so that you can keep record of what the conversation was about, what you discovered, and any relevant information that you can actually use as you continue to speak to this person, nurture this lead until they become a customer. So in our case, we, we talk to a lot of brides. So we may discover that their colors are royal, blue, and yellow.
we may also discover that they're, they're, they are interested in invitations. So interested in invitations and programs. But from the conversation, we discover that they'll, they'll be getting some cake boxes from abroad. So we might make a note of that. So cake boxes coming from abroad as a gift. So we know that we shouldn't try to sell them any cake boxes. And of course, you always want to know exactly what your clients want so that you can really focus on what they want and not what they don't want. For, for example, in this case, it would be irrelevant to send lead one photos of cake boxes or emails of cake boxes with cake boxes if they're already getting cake boxes. So we may also make notes of how they sounded if they were excited you know i typically like to reach out to the brides who are very excited and pumped up about getting married so they were excited about our business and maybe they they, they were following us on facebook and on other social media so we could make notes of that and any other relevant information so if we discover that this person is interested in our products um, we can then change the section that they're in for further follow-ups So we know that this person is interested So we as you can see lead one is has been moved from contact these today to in the to the interested section And then we may do the same thing for lead two So if we discover that lead two is not interested then we we'll move them to the not interested section or we discover that lead two is already a customer it's just a matter of putting them in the relevant section as you can see here so as you can see it's very very easy to keep organized using this simple method in asana to manage your leads and sort of use it like a sales force sales funnel or a crm system as you reach out to leads so if this was helpful um, please give this video a like a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we'll be bringing you more content like this as it relates to project management, productivity, design, entrepreneurship, sales, marketing, and so forth. So take care and peace out.